Here's the run up from the 30 yard line now, the kick by Obrastov. Going for the same corner at the 12 yard line, Greer. For California, back into the middle at the 20, 25, it's open. 30, 35, 40, running for the left sidelines. 50, 45, tackled out of bounds. Knocked out by Ricky Reynolds on a saving tackle as he dropped the ball back from his own 12. That's across midfield, a 50-yard return by Greer. Washington State has really been hurt all season long on the kickoff returns. That time they tried to kick the ball to the left hash. He did it. Cal set it up, brought the ball, broke it back across the field. Ricky Reynolds was an arrows touchdown Bears. Make it a 47-yard return as they put the ball on the 41-yard line. California ball, first down 10. Brian Bedford, their junior quarterback out of Sacramento, and they'll be in an eye with Todd Powers at fullback and Mark Hicks at tailback. Why men both ways. Cougars ready with four down at the line. Motion out of the backfield to fullback. Bedford rolling out right. Got away from the rush by Cleveland. Rolling around the corner. 45-40. Down the right sidelines. 30. Running to the sidelines out of bounds near the 26-yard line. Brian Bedford at the 26. Reynolds and Thomason were there to run him out of bounds. But that's a first down. At the 26-yard line, a run of 21 yards on the opening scrimmage play of the ball game by Brian Bedford for California. Awfully good pressure in there that time by a couple of uh, Cougar defensive linemen. Unfortunately, Bedford was able to get out of bounds or get around him and pick up the first down in a nice run. Throw the ball on the Cougar 26-yard line on the right hash. Here's the turn, the handoff now to the tailback. That's Todd Powers running from that spot, and he crosses the 25 down to the 24-yard line. Seven yards to go. Split backs. Bedford drops back, throws right side. Ball is caught there on the right side. That looks like Mark Hicks who caught that one down around the 20 and fell to about the 19-yard line. Open side to the left. They will split two receivers to the left side now. One running back remains in, a receiver out to the right. Signals call Bedford. The quarterback drops back, hesitates, drops farther, throws over the middle. It is caught inside the 15-yard line by Don Noble, the tight end, a senior from Compton, California. Noble at the 14-yard line. A five-yard gain, and the California Bears pick up a first down. And a much maligned Mr. Bedford has completed two out of two for a total of nine yards and got a first down on that passing effort. The thing about Bedford, he's so quick, he's able to put an awful lot of pressure on the ends and get outside them. Here's the snap. Bedford back, throws left side. He has a man there, caught it, James Devers, and he's down at the nine-yard line. Devers wrapped up and hauled down, and the man who got him was Bob Gregory, the senior outside linebacker from Spokane. Can. Gregory made the tackle. Maybe they'll give him beyond the nine. They will to the eight and a half yard line. So an almost six yard gain that time on the pass. All Bedford's doing in his passing attack is just short and sweet passes. He's hitting his backs and hitting his receivers on real quick routes trying to soften up the underneath part of the Cougar defense. Bedford sets his team once again at the Cougar eight and a half yard line left hash mark. Receivers out to both sides. Split backs. Right tackle jumped offside. The right tackle went firing out. That is Doug Zawatson and made contact across Across the line and that'll cost them that'll take the ball out to the 13 and a half Bedford the quarterback is a 6 4 210 pound junior out of Sacramento so it'll be second down now back at the 14 yard line still split backs behind the quarterback Bedford fairly long count Bedford with the ball turns gives to Hicks slanting off the right side trying to slide away from a tackle can't make it and Ronnie Collins finally drags him down after a gain of a yard and a half or two yards Vince Delgado goes wide right James Devers wide left with a slot man Hicks to the left side as well. Signals called by Bedford. Back he goes on third down eight. Sets up at the 20. Here comes the rush. He runs up the middle. Cleveland caught him. He throws to the right side. The ball is caught out there by a flare man. He will take it down inside the two yard line. That is Todd Powers, the fullback, the safety valve out to the right side. Powers was out there and took it down to the two yard line on the completed pass for a first and goal for California. That was all Bedford. He was sacked. He was down. He had a chance to, he just flicked the ball out there. What an awfully strong arm through it out in the flat to Powers, who just ran a release. He released from his fullback position, was wide open, made a nice run, got it down to the two. First and goal, California at the Washington State two-yard line. They'll go with two tight ends and a flanker, Delgado, to the left side. And they're also in the power eye formation in the backfield. The handoff to the tailback. Hicks, he fumbled into the end zone. A loose ball, a scramble for it. Who got it? They're stacked up. It's still loose. They're still fighting for it. Touchdown, California. The Bears have recovered. They mark Hicks fumble in the end zone and scored. 
It is recovered by Billy Jackson. Billy Jackson made the recovery, and California has scored on a two-yard fumble into the end zone. Washington State had a shot at it. I don't know who it was. Might have been Rob Cleveland, number 67. He laid out for the ball. A couple of Cal Bears came piling over the top. The ball squirted straight up in the air, and Billy Jackson, number six, came in and pounced on it. What an ugly touchdown, but it's still six points. Well, Mark Hicks lost it into the end zone, and the Cougars had a shot at getting it. Bedford led him with a four for four plus the great run for 21 yards. They're ready for the extra point. The snap back on the tee. The kick by Leland Ricks hit the upright and is no good. And Ricks has missed his third straight this year as he hit the upright that time with the extra point try. Here's the California kickoff. It'll roll back into the end zone. The Cougars will cover it there and will not return it. They will keep the ball in the end zone. Tim Stallworth back there with James Hasty covered the ball. And the Cougars will start at their own 20-yard line. First down and 10, trailing six. Boatman, the big kid from Kettle Falls. The tight end will be Chris Leighton moving over to the right. Motion now chase left to right through the formation. Pitch back to Porter running right. Carey broke back over the middle, 25-30. Fumble the ball, stripped away, but the Cougars have it at the 35-yard line. The Cougars got it covered at the 35-yard line as Kerry Porter had the ball stripped away and Ian Lindner, the left guard who had pulled to lead the blocks, was on the ball to make the recovery. It's a first down Washington State. That's a nice run by Kerry Porter. Just a straight pitch to the right side. He saw a seam cut all the way back across the field. Looked like Noble came, or one of the inside linebackers, Nickerson, came in and tried to strip the ball out. Picks up 15 on the play. For the Cougars, Michael James wide left. Cotton Sears now slot left as the Cougars are on the right hash mark. 6-0 California first quarter. Cougar ball, snap, back pass, goes blunt, throws left side, leaping try by James off his hands, incomplete. James had gone underneath, Cotton Sears had gone deeper on the left side, and while it may have been intended for Sears, James went up for it, got his hands on it, and the pass fell incomplete. To Atagaloa, Majet Whiteside, and Ron Sebahar. Here's the snap now, quick fire pass, and it hit the shoulder pad of the intended receiver as Victor Wood angling in from the right side. And that time, Ed Blunt just straightened up and threw the quick one, and he hit the shoulder pad of Victor Wood. Now third and 10 at their own 35 on the right hash. Open side to the left. There goes Rick Chase through in motion to the left side. Here's the counter option turn. There are whistles blowing, and I think the Cougars got off too soon. It looked as if the line got off a half a count too soon, which would probably indicate that the center was a little slow, Paul, bringing the ball up. Out there with him will be Rick Chase. Tight end is also on the left side. Split backs, Broussard in there with Porter. Motion back to the formation by Chase. Counter option turn, run left, blunt. Spins out to about the 31, and that's all. As the California Bears were there to get him, and Hardy Nickerson was the man who led the charge along with Ken Harvey, a pair of linebackers. So back to do the punting now for Washington State will be Rob Meyer. Here's the snap back, the rush on. He just did get it away. High floating kick. The receiver waiting for the ball at his own 35-yard line. Starts to run to the right. That is Dwayne Jones. Headed for the sidelines. He's up over the 40 yard line and out of bounds. They're going to say hit the sidelines around the 39 or 40 in front of the California bench. The punt 34 yards. The return by Jones, nine yards and out of bounds. Make it the 44 yard line. Six to nothing. California has the lead. And out they come with Brian Bedford, the junior from Sacramento at quarterback. Eye formation in the backfield. Receivers to both sides. Wide side to the left. He's checking off at the line of scrimmage. With the ball, Bedford gives to the fullback, fakes the pitch on the follow through, and with with about a yard goes fullback Todd Powers, a sophomore, a medical student, future out of Youngstown, Ohio, and Tony Savage made the tackle for Washington State at the 45-yard line. Wide left goes James Devers now. Vince Delgado, the expert at running the reverse, goes out to the right side, the short side. Single running back now with a slot also to the right. He'll come back in motion. Signals called, long count. With the ball, dropping back. Here's a swing out to the left side. Ball is caught by uh, Peoples around the left side to the 50 down to the Cougar. 46 yard line. Check it, Billy Jackson. Billy Jackson, who caught that ball and brought it to the Cougar 46 yard line. 6 0 California, and it's first down 10 at the Cougar 46. Back goes Bedford, sets up, it's open in the middle. He's going to run over the 45, the 40, the 39 yard line. Brian Bedford on the carry. Bob Gregory 
made the tackle for Washington State. The linebacker from Gonzaga Prep in Spokane, but a good gain on the play as he ran it right up the middle. Bedford's a big Ricky Turner. He really can scramble. Interesting thing about Bedford, he's five for five, but all five passes have gone to different receivers, so he's just not picking on one guy. He's picking on them all. Bedford has now carried the ball 28 yards on two tries, so he's averaging 14 yards a carry. Now he brings him out with split backs behind him, tight end to the right, wide men both ways. It is second down and three yards to go. Here's the snap, the turn, hands the ball off to Jackson, cutting right, tries to wind it back into the middle, got down very close to a first down at the 35-yard line. Jackson on the carry. And finally knocked down by Brian Ford in the middle at the 35-yard line, a four-yard advance. And that may be a first down, it is. Four yards and a first down for the California Bears on the run by Jackson. And for California, that is their fifth first down, their second rushing, the other on the 21-yard run by quarterback Brian Bedford. It is 6-0 California, 7.47 to go in the first quarter. Bears out of the huddle. Chuck Steele, a 255-pound senior from San Clemente, over the ball at center. High formation in the backfield. Bedford, the quarterback. Cougars tighten it up in the middle. Bedford steps back, rolls to the right, pitch back, got the ball to Jackson. He is caught as he tried to get around the corner. Krakowski leaping on his back over the pile, and underneath was Kevin Thomason, but it was Krakowski coming over the top that made the solid hit and put the ball carrier down at the 32-yard line. Split backs behind Bedford. Wide receivers both ways at the 32 two-yard line on second down. Here's the fake to the reverse. He rolls right, got away from Cleveland, sets up, throws down the sidelines, and is incomplete. Thomason had it covered at the 10-yard line at the sidelines as the pass intended for Vince Delgado. Check it. Not Delgado, Kevin Cushing, and it was incomplete. Delgado now will go wide to the left side for the California Bears. They'll split two men to the right. One running back. Back goes Bedford. Sets up. Throws over the middle. It's incomplete. Intended for Hicks. That ball was slapped, I think, by Savage at the left. And they're going to shift now to a short punt formation. Let's see if they kick or what they do. Here's the snap back. They are going to kick. It's Hicks. He'll angle it for the corner. It hits inside the five. Goes into the end zone. And so the Cougars will bring it out to the 20-yard line. Washington State trailing 6 nothing with the ball at their own 20-yard line. Here's the snap. Back to pass. Eddie Blunt throws long. Long over the middle, intended for Leighton over his head, and the penalty marker is down back near the line of scrimmage. And split running backs, Kerry Porter and Steve Broussard behind Ed Blunt. Porter in motion out to the right side. Here's Blunt with the ball, short drop, throws right side. Great catch by Kittrick Taylor over the 25, bounced off a tackler and fell to about the 27-yard line. Kittrick Taylor on a fine leaping catch, two-handed up over the head, hauled that one down. Nice, nice offensive series by Washington State that time. Porter went in motion, drew the line back over there was an open seam there for Kittrick to run his quick little slant blunt through the ball hit him right on target he laid out nice play second down three Washington State the first pass completion in three attempts for the Cougars Leighton will come over to the right side now as the tight end split backs behind blunt in the backfield California three down linemen wood in motion through to the left handoff to Broussard slams in on the right side got maybe a yard and that's all as the California Bears stack that one up just short of the line of scrimmage hard line they're on the right hash open side to the left. Sears goes through right to left. Here's Blunt. Pitch to the short side. Porter off the right side. Hammering his way close to the 30, but I don't think he made it. It looks like they got him near the 29-yard line. Kerry Porter on the carry and got just about to the 29 that'll leave the Cougars a yard short and fourth down coming. And Hardy Nickerson at the bottom of the pile again with Nato Tua Tagaloa. I'm glad you can pronounce that because I sure can't. Washington State has not shown a much imagination whatsoever on offense so far in this football game. I don't know if they're trying to get a feel for it. Walden setting up the game plan here, but it's pretty soft right now. Rob Meyer into punt. Two men back. Nine on the line. Here's the snap. The rush from the outside. He got it away. Up to field the ball now and drop. Delgado a scramble for the ball at the 35 yard line of California. Delgado got it covered. It's the second football that's been laying on the ground. The Washington State has not been able to recover. Guys, you got to get after that thing. Here's Bedford with the ball rolling back to the right. Chase swings it back out to the left to Hicks on the 30. 35 40. A wave and a tackle straight arm at the 50 and to the Cougar 49 yard line. Mark Hicks and finally knocked out of bounds at the sidelines by Sean Landrum, the sophomore from Long Beach, California. But at the Cougar, 49, a 16-yard run on that one.
nothing. Bedford sets some split backs, turns, hands off to Powers, the fullback, and he is upset as he gets only a couple of yards over left guard. All right, California with the ball, second down and seven at the Washington State, 46 on the left hash. Two men short side left, wide receiver out to the right. One running back, Delgado goes through, left to right through the formation. Back to pass now, oh, it's a draw up. The middle comes Hicks with the ball, then fakes out to the right at the 45, at the 40 pass Collins, and out of bounds at the 35 yard line of Washington State. Mark Hicks on the carry on a draw. Ricky Reynolds knocked him out at the 35-yard line. That's an 11-yard run on that one and another first down, and they have gone to 100 yards plus in offense. Defensive lineman Chris Hiller limps off for Washington State. 6-0 Cal, first down at the Washington State 35. Back Bedford throws hard over the middle, sliding catch. Made a good one by Mike Ford. Ford went sliding under that, a 6'2", 205-pound freshman. First down at the Cougar, 19, 6-0 California. Cougars show blitz. Here's the handoff, goes in the backfield. Jackson, left side, 15-10 to the six-yard line. Goes Billy Jackson, and Jim Krakowski got him around the ankles and hauled him down. Power eye formation now, with one receiver out to the left side. First down at the Cougar six-yard line. Bedford, the quarterback, the big kid from Sacramento, turns, going to roll out to the right. It's open. He he will take it to the five and score standing up. Bedford, the quarterback, rolling to the right as the corner just broke down and he rolled on in around the right side. Brian Bedford, six yards for the touchdown with two minutes and 36 seconds remaining to play. Bedford ran it in. His third carry, he's gained 34 yards and scored once. And if Brian Bedford was maligned for a bad day last Saturday, he's having a super first quarter here this afternoon. They've got a new kicker in to try the extra point for California. Mike Kelly will try the extra point. The snap spotted. Here's the kick. It is good. Listen. As little Mike Kelly came in, a brand new place kicker, and booted it through and got a standing O. For we are ready now. Hasty and Stallworth are the receivers deep. The run up and a low floating kick hits at the 20. Goes back to Chase on the 11. He bobbled it, picked it up there. Rick up over the 20, hurtling, diving, and sliding goes to about the 23 yard line. I think you're going to see a little play action pass here. I, I wouldn't be surprised if they try to go deep right off the bat to try to confuse or get something going for the Cougs right now. Split backs, wide men both ways out of the backfield to the right side. Porter in motion. Back goes the quarterback Blunt, throws Porter on the 25, got the ball there up to the 30, spins across the 31 to the 32-yard line and is knocked down there. The tackle made by Sidney Johnson. Johnson and Kelly, who kicked the extra point, both wear the same number. They're both wearing number one. So we'll try and keep track of which one is which. But that play carried to the 32. So for the Cougars, a nine-yard passing gain from Ed Blunt to Kerry Porter that time. And the Cougars, with only their second completion in four attempts, have themselves a second and one. Here's the snap. Blunt fakes the draw to Broussard, throws left side to Wood. It's incomplete. Here's Blunt with his team set now. Takes the snap, turns, pitches back to Porter on the option, running the right side. And Porter got out to the 31, fumbled the ball. There's a great big stack. California says they have it. Referee has not indicated yet. The officials are in the pile. Let's see what they say. That's what counts. California at the 31-yard line. The Bears got it. Marty Nickerson at the bottom of the pile, but it was recovered by Pat McDonald, a senior from Solano Beach, California, an inside linebacker, as the Cougars fumble and lose the ball at the 31-yard line. That's the second fumble by Porter in the ballgame. California with the football now at the Washington State 31, leading 13 to nothing. Here's Bedford with the ball, drop back, throw right side, man open, has the ball, it is Hicks. He's over the 25, down to about the 22-yard line. And the ball got knocked loose again, but I think that time he was down on the ground. I don't believe that was a fumble. I think he was down, and then the ball came loose at the 22-yard line of Washington State. He's got almost 10 yards. It's second down about the length of the football to go just outside the 21-yard line. With the ball to turn, the handoff to Jackson, slanting through on crossbuck action down to the 15-yard line. Jackson from the 21 down to the 15, a six-yard pickup. And right now, the California Golden Bears are just ripping and rolling along on the ground and through the air. That is their 10th first down, and they lead in the ballgame 13 to nothing inside the final minute of the first quarter. 
This is not the same California Bear team we watched on television from Boston one week ago, and they looked very tentative and very disorganized. They looked sharp in this ball game. Wide men both ways, split backs at the Cougar 15. Cougar lineman jumped. Was he drawn? Somebody jumped across in the middle of that Cougar line. It may have been Savage, but uh, whatever. Now the question is, was he drawn, or did he just jump across of his own volition? And it appears it's Washington State offside. They walk off down to the Cougar 10-yard line. So the Cougars jumped. It was Ivan Cook who jumped across the defensive end. Well, as they say, Washington State is kind of ironing out the wrinkles here, but at the way way things are going, they're not going to have any clothes left. It's not even the end of the first quarter, and Cal's knocking on the door for their third score. They'd have to be my age to have wrinkles like that. <laughs> no. Ball at the 10-yard line now. Wide men both ways. Split backs again. Bedford trying to take his team in for the third time in this quarter. 22 seconds to go. He hands off in the backfield. Jackson at the five. Dive scrambles. Fumbles the ball into the end zone. The Cougars have it there, but was he down or not? Touchdown, California. He broke the plane. Both the side men are up with their arms. It's a California touchdown. He broke the plane before he lost the ball, and California makes it 19 to nothing in the first quarter. I think you're going to see a new quarterback coming in. Tim Rosenbaugh is warming up on the sidelines. They're going to have to do something. Washington State came back from a 19 to nothing deficit last year against Cal in the final eight and a half minutes. Well, they've got three quarters to do it now, but the way Cal's going, they're not going to stop. They're going to keep hammering the Cougars until the Cougars walk out of this out of this ballpark with their head down. With 14 seconds to go in the first quarter, it will be again Mike Kelly kicking for the extra point. And snapping will be Brian Edgar, who didn't do that job a week ago. They are ready now. The snap back, it's on the tee. Kelly kind of scuffed that one, hits it off to the right, and he's missed one now. So they're one for four for the season on extra points as Kelly missed it. And so now they start looking for another place kicker. Are you ready, Sorensen? Uh, do you have any eligibility left? No, I don't want to kick for those guys. <laughs> okay. Leland Rick's ready to kick off. Isn't that a name for a California player, Leland? No. Oh, that was Stanford. Here's the kick now with Hasty and Stallworth deep. Ball will go to Stallworth at the three, and he dropped it. He picks it up. He's at the five, at the ten. Slipped the tackle, running laterally to his left. Caught by the arm and run out of bounds as he got back to about the 11-yard line, maybe the 12, before he crossed the sideline. Make it the 12. And so they return of nine yards after the ball was dropped. And the Cougars now, I think now, are beginning to feel the butterflies of suddenly being down by this margin in the football game. Rosenball with a tight end to the right, split backs. Chase through left to right in motion now. Here's Rosenball going to run it right, turns up field, climbs over the pile, and got to about the 15-yard line. I think he wanted to give the ball away, but they missed on the play, and it was stopped at the 15. And at that point, the first quarter comes to an end with a score. At the end of one period, California 19, Washington State nothing. We So the Cougars will start the second quarter trailing 19 to nothing here. California 19, Washington State nothing. Washington State ball with redshirt freshman Tim Rosenball, the 6'2", 208-pounder out of Pullman High School, now at quarterback. Ball on the 15-yard line, just in from the left hash mark. Motion out of the backfield by Porter to the left. Back Rosenball throws ball, batted at the line, is incomplete. That ball was knocked down at the line of scrimmage by one of the California linemen on rushing that time. Joe Nelms, a 6'5", 265-pounder from Concord. He's a junior. Went to DVC Junior College there. Pretty good little. Turned out a lot of fine ball players out of that place. <laughs> Boy, if I fall into that trap, I'm in terrible trouble. Could you name another, Paul? All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, uh, Rosenbaugh's tying his quick shoe. Kick. Up he comes. Here's the snap to him for the quick kick. Block! It is blocked. Somebody got a hand on it. It's in the end zone. Scramble. Loose ball. It is out of the end zone for a safety. It goes out for a safety. And that's two for California. That makes up for the lost points. Somebody came through. I think it might have been Majet Whiteside who got a hand on the ball charging through and blocked the Cougar quick kick. That's the one where they fake it with the shoe tying procedure. I don't know if you can go to that well two weeks in a row, but it was blocked as one of the linemen came through, stuck up a big paw and blocked that ball and slapped it into the end zone. It was a scramble. Paul, the Cougars didn't do it again. Uh, the Cougars will kick off from their own 20-yard line following the safety. Here's the run up. Here's the kick high and end over end. Waiting for it. Delgado back at his own 17. Up the middle, 20. 25 angles left, 30. Back in the middle, 40. It's open. 50. 45 40 down the right side 30 pushed out of bounds at the 26 yard line Vince 
Delgado. And California is just blowing this ball game open. The Bears have just decimated the Cougars here in the early going. 56-yard return on the free kick by Vince Delgado to the Washington State 26-yard line. Well, I've heard of momentum, but if this is the case, I mean, this is just unbelievable. California is knocking guys down all over the field. California wants to win the football game. Washington State's out here hanging up the sheets. I mean, they're not even out there trying to make an effort. Come on, Cougs. Get back in this thing. Well, it's a problem with an all-young team. You get them back on their heels, it's harder for them than a senior team to bounce back. All right, uh, the uh, Bears are ready now with a ball. Bedford with an eye formation in the backfield. Wide men both ways. Here's Bedford. Draw to Hicks. Fakes left. Steps into the line at the 20. Cuts back 15. Down around the 12-yard line goes Mark Hicks on a stuttering, change of direction, slalom-type run through the Cougar defense. Hicks is a new... This isn't the same guy that ran last week. Oh, no. There's an imposter out there. This, this, is, this is the O.J. lookalike. Back goes Bedford. Throws to the left side. The ball is caught over on the left sidelines. I think that's Kevin Cushing who caught it inside the 10 and is hit and run out of bounds immediately as he got the ball at the 10. Bob Gregory was there to make the initial contact for Washington State. And the Bears now, with a bit in their teeth, are just hurrying to the line of scrimmage. They just can't wait to run another play is the situation they're in. They're just outside the Washington State 8 on the left hash mark. Wide men both ways, eye formation. Brian Bedford, the quarterback, with his tight end to the right. Here's the snap. He steps back, straight arms by a man, spins into the line. He's at the 5, perhaps the 4-yard line. Bedford called his own number that time, straight armed off a lineman at the line of scrimmage, and then spun into the middle and took the ball down inside the Cougar five yard line. And we'll see where they spot that one down. It's going to be at the four. So a four yard run by Brian Bedford down to the Cougar four yard line. Bedford 38 yards on four carries so far in the ball game. Third down and a long yard to go for the Bears. They have running room to their right. A power eye in the backfield now with one receiver out to the right side. Here's Bedford. Fakes, rolls right. It's wide open. He's going to throw anyway and a diving catch for a touchdown. I think that might have been a tight end that got that ball, but we'll see as they unstack. They're all around the young man who caught it. That was the tight end, Don Noble, who made the diving catch in the end zone for the touchdown. So Bedford, a four-yard pass for a score to Don Noble. The most exciting thing Washington State's had this, this game is watching Cal kick extra points. Oh, boy. Noble was wide open. Bedford just rolled to the right side. He had a pretty good pressure and just kind of threw the ball in there. Nice catch by Noble. The gates have opened, folks. They really it's have. Katie bar the door right now. Ready for the extra point try. Looks like uh, Ricks is back in to try it again. Here's the snap spotted. Here's the kick, and he drives that one through, so he gets his job back. The extra point is good. And would you believe that we are only two minutes and one second into the second quarter, and the California Golden Bears lead this ball game. Leland Ricks runs forward to kick off for California. Long one into the corner of the end zone. James Hasty back has it. He will not return it. The Cougars will come out to the 20-yard line with a touchback. So Washington State trailing 28 to nothing will have the ball first down 10 at their own 20-yard line with 12.59 to go in the first half. So here come the Cougars now to play from their own 20-yard line. Whiteside is on the center's head now as the Cougars get ready to go. In motion out to the right side, Michael James, the handoff in the backfield to Bruce Broussard straight up the middle, and Steve Broussard carries the ball out to around the 22 or 23-yard line before he is stacked up there. Are ready to play. Split backs behind Tim Rosenbaugh. Back goes Tim, sets up, throws over the middle, caught. Leighton, the tight end, and he'll take it to the 35 for a first down. Leighton, the catch for a 12-yard gain out to the 35-yard line. And perhaps the Cougars now will take one page out of the book of the California offense and start to go for the little short ones and try to work their way up the field. Do you believe in miracles? Remember the last time Washington State was down 28 points? It happened to be right down the road here at Palo Alto. Right across the bridge, wasn't it? Yep. All right, the Cougars are ready again with split backs. First down at their own 35-yard line. Rosenball runs right and hands the ball away. Tingstad is in the backfield, but the handoff does not go to Tingstad, but to the other back who punches it straight up. 
And running in that spot is Steve Broussard. Broussard and Tingstad are the running backs. Kerry Porter, after the two fumbles, is not in the backfield now, and I don't know whether he perhaps got dinged a little bit. He's standing on the sidelines watching. The ball at the 36-yard line. Broussard picked up a single yard on the play and has carried three times now for five yards. Cougars ready once again, second down nine. Rick Chase in motion to the right side. Quick pitch, Broussard around the right side. Good blocking. It's Come open. On. He might be gone at the 40, at the four, 35, the 30, and knocked out of bounds at the 31-yard line of California. The saving tackle for the Bears over at the far side. I think that was Gary Hine who got to him to knock him out of bounds, but he was on his way down the sidelines. Excellent blocking, Paul, on the corner. There was Washington State took a page out of the Cal attack, and they were knocking guys down over the field. I thought the way Broussard was running, he was gone. He's limping off a little bit, but that was good. That's the kind of thing that Washington State needs. A big running play, get the confidence back, get some things going, and at least get a touchdown out of this. He got 33 yards out of that one, did Broussard, so he's got his big play for the time being, and the Cougar off and running a handoff to Tingstad, but he's caught on the draw behind the line of scrimmage. Tingstad is hauled down as the Bears read the draw well. Hardy Nickerson led the way. And back at the 33-yard line after a two-yard loss, the Cougars find themselves at second down and 12 as Ed Tingstad from Bethel carried the ball, and now he comes out of the game. So the Cougars will send in the extra wide receiver, and they'll also bring back in Kerry Porter. They'll send two men to the left. Tight end to the right. Now Porter out in motion to the right side. No backs in. Rosenbaugh drops back. Chase Pot dropped for a loss back at the 40 as he was rolled down that time by Majet Whiteside, the 255-pound nose guard from Pomona, California. Back at the 40-yard line. So the Cougars lose seven on that one. Seven-yard loss. And for Washington State, now third down and long yardage. Almost 20 yards to go as they make changes once again in the wide receiver core. Rick Chase will be out to the right side. Kittrick Taylor slotted inside Cotton Sears to the left. Porter, the running back. Tim Rosenbaugh, quarterback, drops back, throws right side, caught by Leighton at the 31-yard line. But that'll leave him at fourth and 10. As the Cougars complete, that is pass completion number four in seven attempts. Good for a nine-yard gain for Washington State. And fourth down and 10 yards to go at the 31-yard line. Now some questions being asked of the sidelines. The punter has not come in, so the Cougars from the 31, obviously, Paul, are going for it. Well, you don't want to put her in a coffin corner here when you're down by four touchdowns, so you've got nothing to lose. Might as well go for it. They really haven't. Field <laughs> position not that important at this stage of the game. 9.56 to go first half. Here's the snap. Back goes Rosenbaugh. Wants 10. Yeah. Going to run it up the middle. He's at the 30 running left. Trying to slide and cut at the 25, and down he goes, and California will take over at the 25-yard line. Over the ball at center for the California Bears is Brad Jackman now, their number two center. They've got some of their second unit people in in the line. Motion out to the right for the fullback. Pitch back to Hicks, the tailback running right. He's at the 30, got his head down and spun out of bounds at the 32-yard line. Mark Hicks carrying that ball. Mac Eldery, a tackle leading the way, pulling out from the left side. He's the backup left tackle behind Doug Riesenberg, the big 270-pounder from Moscow, Idaho. Many feel that that was an excellent move for Riesenberg. He was a fine defensive tackle, played a couple years on the defensive side, then came over and played offensive tackle. He's really done an excellent job. He was one of the players that Cap really was high on after last week's game. So Hicks picked up seven. It's second down three at the 32 on the right hash mark. 28-0 California. Turn the handoff now to Jackson, slanting on the left side. And now a penalty marker goes down as Jackson came out around the 38-yard line. But let's see what the flag is for as it went flying into the pile. And it could well be against California. They're going to put it back near the 35-yard line. And I think it's going to be against Cal, perhaps for a clip. We will see. Nope, holding is the call against California. And that'll take the ball back now from about the 35 yard line to somewhere around the 25 assuming the Cougars do accept and I would think they'd have to otherwise it's a first down Well, back it goes to the 26 yard line second down for the California Golden Bears Bedford with one running back Todd Powers the fullback behind him takes the snap drops straight back sets up throws long for Hicks he's got it at the 50 he just took it out of the arms of Ricky Reynolds that time flying through the air and fell forward a couple more to the Washington State 48 yard line a 26-yard gain on that pass play for California. 
And the Bears continue to roll it along, this time going to the air once again to pick up their 26 yards and a first down. Hicks has been the big man. He's had four receptions on a day for already 56 yards. Good coverage by Reynolds. Great pass by Bedford. Bedford another 26. That puts him over at about 100 yards now passing. He sets him in an eye formation. Drops back on the draw. Got the ball to Hicks. Faked away from a couple of tackles, but then found too many white shirts there and is dropped for a lot. Cougars, four down linemen at the line of scrimmage. Here's Bedford faking the draw. Play action goes deep. Runs to the left side. Hiller got him with a jersey, and down he goes. He will lose about five. He broke the grasp of Chris Hiller on his jersey, but in breaking free, fell off balance and went down at his own 43-yard line. So back-to-back -back losing plays now for the Golden Bears as Bedford loses five. Bedford, a losing rush, takes him back to 33 yards on five carries. And now it is third down and 19 yards to go. Bedford sets him with one running back, powers the fullback. Back he goes to pass, no fake. Sets up over the middle. Hicks coming across right to left. Has it to the 50, inside the 45, and down to about the Cougar 42-yard line. Mark Hicks set out as a slot to the right. Went down a few strep steps, then cut left. Went just right across the middle, parallel to the line of scrimmage, and got the ball down to the 43-yard line. There might have been a, a little discretion on that play, but it's good just underneath coverage again. He just threw the ball. Hicks came out underneath and picked up a nice game. Good pass by Bedford. He's really hot. And they're in punt formation. Here's the snap back, and the left foot kick down the field by Scott Tabor will hit at the goal line and go into the end zone. And so the touchback will bring it out, and the Cougars will start at their own 20-yard line. Porter in motion out to the left side. One back remains. Rosenbaugh back. Pump fake. Throws deep now for Rick Chase and overthrew it at the California 45-yard line into double coverage that time as Chase went downfield. He was covered by Ray Nicholas and Derek Taylor, and there's a flag down back at the Washington State 45-yard line. We might have had a little contact in the secondary there. Very interesting call if they do call it. Sidney Johnson, the Defensive holding, Paul. Yeah, I thought so, because it looked like Chase had sprinted right by Johnson, and all of a sudden Johnson caught up to him awfully quickly. Flickbacks now behind Tim Rosenbaugh at quarterback for Washington State at the 25. Motion by Michael James, left to right through the formation. Rosenbaugh, the full turn, pitches the ball back to Porter, and he gets just back to the line of scrimmage around the left side. Cougars ready again with Rosenbaugh at quarterback and split backs. Tight end to the right. Back goes Tim to throw. Sets up over the middle. Got it to his tight end. That's Leighton again up around the 32 or 3 yard line for a first down. And Leighton then is hit and run back. But he'll have the first down at the 33 yard line. So an 8 yard gain on the pass play from Rosenbaugh to Leighton. And that Brings the Cougars over 100 yards of offense for the first time in the ball game. That Washington under, State. Oh, sorry, Bob. That was just an underneath pass once again. Layton came down, curled it back inside. Nice pass by by Rosenbaugh. Layton has three catches for 29 yards. 28 to nothing in favor of California. Cougars at their own 33-yard line. First down 10. Rick Chase through the formation to the left. Here's the turn. The run by Rosenbaugh left. Pitch back Broussard around the corner. Hit around the knees and goes flying through the air and crossed the 40-yard line. Now they're going to put him down inside the 40 as he bounced across the 40 rather than flying across and they'll put him down I think forward progress will be just shy of the 40 yard line but in that case that's a seven yard gain for Washington State for Tim Broussard so Broussard picks up seven and that gives him 45 on five carries unofficially in the first half wide to the right goes Michael James the Cougars will go trips right now with two receivers in the slot tight end Leighton to the left motion back through the formation by Kittrick Taylor here's the pitch now to Porter running left Get across the 40, fights his way to the 43-yard line with Kittrick Taylor trying to block the path for him. And down he goes at about the 43. Kerry Porter, the big running back out of Great Falls, Montana, carrying the ball for the Cougars. The tackle made by Dan Slavin, a freshman from Dos Palos, California, at the 44-yard line. Excellent swarming defense for the Cal defense right now. They've done an excellent job, a lot like San Jose State did last week in terms of knocking down the veer. That was just a quick pitch. So a first down for Washington State, their third rushing, fifth overall in the game. Here's a quick pitch to Porter running to the right side, around the corner at the 45 to the 50, and down he goes at the 49-yard line of California. And Porter lost his headgear. One of the California defensive players came up with his headgear, shaking it up in the air as if he'd recovered a loose football. They're going to put the ball down right on the 50. So for Kerry, a six-yard advance on that run for Washington State. And for the Cougars, second down and four yards to go. 
The tail of the ball on the 50-yard line, the nose over into California territory. Three receivers, short side to the right. Tight end Vince Layton out to the left side. Motion, Kittrick Taylor through to the left. Rosenball, late handoff and a spin to Broussard on the trap, and he takes it up the middle and down to the 41-yard line. And the Cougars got another first down, their fourth on the ground. Rosenball sets him. Back he goes, throws left side. Ball caught by Rick Chase, and he's dragged down at the 36-yard line of California. Nickerson was there to make the hit for the California Bears, and Daryl Stallworth, their strong safety, at the 36-yard line, so the Cougars pick up six more on the passing play as Tim Rosenbaugh takes them to the air. So for Washington State, second down and four, ball on the left hash mark. Wide side to the right, sidelines left. They will go trips right to the wide side. One running back. Now motion back through the formation by Cotton Sears to the left. The quick pitch left side, Broussard running into the sidelines and got a yard, maybe two. As he crossed the 35-yard line, third and three Cougars down 28 nothing. Stallworth in motion to the right side, leaving two men wide left. Here's the draw now to the running back, Broussard, up the middle at the 30, the 25. He is trying to roll over people down to around the 23-yard line. Steve Broussard, the redshirt freshman out of Los Angeles, the bruiser, they call him, and he carried the ball down to the 23. That's an 11-yard gain, and another Cougar first down, their fifth on the ground, and their seventh overall. So the Cougars continue now to move along as Broussard picks up 11. They're starting to do it right up the middle of the defense. That's something they were not able to do last week against San Jose State. Trips right now. Three receivers to the right side. They go on the quick count. Rolling right. Rosenbaugh. It's open on the corner. He's going to run. He's at the 20 to the sidelines and out of bounds at the 18-yard line. Tim Rosenbaugh carrying the ball to the right side. He got it down to the 18-yard line for a five-yard gain before they ran him out of bounds. He got out of harm's way that time as the defenders closed in on him. Trips right. Three men to the short side. Motion back through by Stallworth to the left. Rosenball, the handoff hard to Kerry Porter. Bangs it right up the middle down to the 14-yard line. Kerry Porter on the carry goes from the 18 down to the 14. That's a four-yard advance. And the Cougars come to third down and a yard to go as Porter picks up four on that play on this very important drive. And Washington State now is doing some nice things. They're getting the Cal defense a little bit confused. They're showing different type sets, showing different motions, and they're getting them on their heels. That's exactly what Washington State has to do to be effective offensively. Now they'll go with Michael James out to the right side. They also split a man chase to the left. James back in motion through to the left side. Two men wide left. Taylor very wide. Pitch to Porter. Running left with a penalty marker down at the line of scrimmage. Porter is down to the nine-yard line, but there's a flag down at the far side at the line of scrimmage. As Kerry Porter again lost his helmet, and let's see what the call is at the far side now as the officials or gather. Motion, I think. It looked like uh, one of the facts in motion. Oh, it's offside defense. Whoa. California offside. That is a big call. That's the old they're saying. This one's for you, Mo. You bet. <laughs> Here come the Cougars now, just inside the right hash. Down 28, nothing, but with a first down goal at the nine. Motion through from right to left by Victor Wood. Here's Rosenbaum. He's knocked down. The ball got loose, but the official says he was down at the 15-yard line. Great blitz that time by California as Dan Slavin and safety man Daryl Stallworth just blew across the line. They were all over Rosenball as he turned away from center and knocked him down, knocked the ball loose, but he was down, and the ball is dead at the 15-yard line. He looked like Nehemiah that time. He hurtled right over the center and then pounded right at Rosenball. He didn't even see him coming because the kid was airborne. Changes now on defense by California. They want to get an extra lineman in. Now we're ready. Four down linemen for California. Cougars at the 15, second and goal. Clock running at 40 seconds. Rosenbaugh back. A lot of time. Good protection. Here comes the rush. The throw to the end zone. Touchdown! It is Stallworth who's got it for Washington State. The Cougars have scored as Rosenbaugh with fine blocking and lots of time to throw it waited and waited till his man came clear and threw it deep in the end zone to Timmy Stallworth for the touchdown. Boy, beautiful pass by Rosenbaugh. He has a strong arm. He was looking right, looked left, saw Stallworth. He went all the way down, rolled it all the way to the back of the end zone and just fired that thing. He also had James open on the down to the left side of the field, but he couldn't see him through the ball. Beautiful touchdown, a big touchdown for Washington State because they got some points and they got some momentum. So now the extra point try. Kevin Adams in to kick the point to snap on the ground. Here's the kick up in the air, and he made it. 
It is good. That ball came back on the ground, but uh, the holder got it on the tee, and Kevin Adams banged it through. And so the Cougars have added the extra point. And with only 30 seconds remaining in the first half of this football game here in Berkeley, they suddenly revived Washington State. Cougars are back, at least on the board, if not back in the battle, 28 to 7. Boy, it has been an ugly first half for Washington State, no doubt, but that's a beautiful play. 15 plays, 80 yards. They ate a four minutes and five seconds on the clock, but the most important thing is they stayed in it. They got a touchdown out of it. It's 28 to 7, plus Washington State gets the ball back at halftime on the second half kickoff. A lot of things can happen. Oh, Brastoff ready. Nick to kick the ball. Sends it on the ground. A knuckleball. It goes all the way through. Jackson watching it. It rolls to the sidelines and went out of bounds. Two kickoffs and two out of bounds. The last time from the middle of the field, he hooked it and sent it out of the uh, left corner. That time they took it over to the right hash mark and he hit the knuckleball and it hit and went out to the right side. So they'll bring that one back to the 30 and no time ran off the clock. We still have 30 seconds remaining to play in the first half of this football game. And the Cougars are trailing 28 to 7 in this contest. Just a reminder, the Spokane Cougar Club lunch on Monday the 22nd at the Ridpath Hotel. Jim Walden, the Cougar coach, will be the speaker at that one. And don't forget also that the Spokane Boosters, there are buses that run from Spokane to all the Cougar home games. So you can make arrangements through the uh, Spokane Cougar Club if you'd like to uh, ride on those buses. Speaking of the Spokane group, there was quite a group of them went to Reno and came on down. They all got here, uh, as they said, safer but poorer. They were around, uh, you know, mooching coffee this morning because <laughs> they've been through Reno and didn't have any money left, but they are here, a bunch of them way down in the corner. I understand. It almost looks like a demilitarized zone out there. They have stands, fans on either side of them, and they're stuck kind of out there in the boonies all by themselves. Well, they've got their own band and their own cheerleaders <laughs> down there, so they're ready. Here's O'Brastoff from his own 30. Again, sends it low through the middle. Waiting for it is Greer at his 15. He dropped it. Back to the 12, picks it up. Greer in the middle, 15. Cuts right, straight arming. Cuts back at the 20. Hit finally as he crossed the 25 and down at the 26-yard line with a tackle made by Tuno Alapate for Washington State. And it's first down 10 for California. 11-yard return. He ran a lot farther than that, but he only brought it forward to the 26-yard line, about 11 yards. So it's first down and 10 for California, 22 seconds remaining in the first half. All right, we're ready. First down, California at the 26-yard line. Signals called with the quarterback, Bedford, and he'll just go back and fall on the ball this time. They're going to let the clock run out in this half. They don't want to take any chances on throwing it away. And so Bedford goes back to about the 22-yard line, gives up four yards of what they had gained in the first half, and that probably will be the last play of the first half as we count it down now. Down to two, one, and there's the gun. We're at halftime. The first half of the football game is over, and after a tremendous California start, the Washington State Cougars seem to get a governor on the throttle on them that time, and in the second quarter held on, got it turned around, and came back with that one good drive of theirs to score shortly before halftime, and at the half, at the intermission, it is California 28, Washington State 7. Well, when I'm not working in rodeo, I ride race. Leland Ricks will kick off for California. They'll be kicking from left to right, from north to south. And the Cougars will receive with Stallworth and Hasty back at the goal line. We're ready. The lines are set. And here's the run up and the ball from the 35-yard line is sent soaring deep into the end zone it goes. It is taken there by James Hasty, I believe. And he'll go to one knee and will not return it. Stallworth was right back there. And that's something we'd seen earlier this season, Paul, where there was not communication in the end zone. That time there was. California with four down linemen. Now check it three. One of them was down and popped back up. Blunt steps right, hands the ball away to Kerry Porter. Straight ahead on the veer into the right side. Just a straight dive off the veer and brought the ball from the 20 out to about the 23-yard line. They've already disappeared under the dark blue jerseys of the California Golden Bears, led by Natu Tua Tagaloa, who was there as the first man on the tackle, and they put the ball down on the 23-yard line. So for the Cougars, it will be second down and seven from their own 23, trailing 28 to seven as we start the second half. Split backs. Victor Wood in motion to the left side. Back goes Ed Blunt. Sets up, throws over the middle. Ball caught by Leighton, his fourth of the afternoon, and he's at the 30-yard line, and I think... We'll have a first down as the nose of the ball is across the 30-yard line. 
So a seven yard gain and for the Cougars a first down. The taking taking blunt out early in the first half might have been exactly what he needed. He's coming in here. He's dropping back. He's showing confidence and that ball was a dart. He threw that thing right on the line. If it was a it was a, it was a fastball and pitching. It was a frozen rope. The ball actually is just a tail across the 30 but from a statistical standpoint is logged on the 31. Broussard in motion right. Back goes blunt. He's going to get overrun. Tries to fight his way back up the middle. Save what he can and get back to around the 28 or 29 yard line. He had Broussard swinging out to the right side and stepped back to throw and the rush came and there's a penalty marker down and a face mask called against California. So a loss on the play the running play of a couple of yards but uh, from the 28 yard line now there's a face mask call against the Bears. Wide to the right now will go Rick Chase. Cougars go trips right. Three men to the right side. They short side of the field. Tight end Leighton is to the left. Now in motion through Kittrick Taylor to the left side. Here's the handoff to the fullback Porter. Up the middle he comes and got only to around the 38 yard line. Gary Porter trying to get outside and it was Ron Sebahar who got there first for the California Bears. His brother played for the Cougars as an offensive center. Now the Cougars send a man in motion. James out of the backfield back pedaling to pass blunt throws to the left side leaping try incomplete Stallworth the intended receiver in front of the Cougar bench and it was just out of his reach. Now they need to get something on the board fairly early in this half now not count on the great closing rush. Porter moving in motion left blunt rolls back then cuts off to the right side naked run dives for the first down and Got it. He brought the ball to the 42-yard line. Blunt started to roll in the direction Porter had gone in motion. And I just wonder, Paul, if Porter was supposed to go in motion. He looked very hesitant coming out to the left. He had lived that time for a first down to the 42. Cougars trail 28 to 7. Here's Blunt now rolling into a trips left set. Throws the ball downfield. Stallworth, and he couldn't handle it. He was open at the 40-yard line. The ball was there, but it was off his fingertips and incomplete as he turned back to the inside. And Cotton Sears comes over to pat him on the back of the helmet now say come on young man we'll get the next one. That was just a beautiful pass blunt rode around to his left side he had to throw across his body that ball was on a string and that was a perfect pass. It looked like Stallworth unfortunately looked down the field to see where he's running before he looked the ball in blunt on the night or on the day is three for eight for 28 yards. Kerry Porter comes out of the ball game Cougars with one running back trips left now they'll send chase through to the right side quick pitch Broussard running right slipped a tackle as he got to the sidelines and goes out of bounds. Cougars in their white jerseys, red pants, gray helmets. Out of that huddle, moving right to left in the sunshine here at Berkeley. One running back. Here's Blunt rolling left now. Cox the arm, pump fake. Now throws for Sears and overthrew him down at the 37-yard line. Back to receive Dwayne Jones and Vince Delgado. Here's the snap back to Myers, and here's the kick. Tim Scholes does the deep snapping. Ball in the air. Delgado at his own 21. Or Jones, check it, retreated to the 20. Starts upfield over the 25, and is knocked down at the 26-yard line. Alapate was there. Two now Alapate to make the tackle for Washington State at the 26-yard line. And that's where the Bears will start. And let's see if they have the sustained offense of the first half that turned this into a 28-0 apparent route before the Cougars got them cooled down in the second quarter. Bears break that huddle now. Brian Bedford, their big junior quarterback out of Sacramento. McClatchy High School. He sets his team, calls his plays behind his center. Here's the snap, and the ball got away, and it's rolling loose, and I think our lineman may have had it. He had his hands on it. It's still loose. The Cougars say they have it. They're jumping up and down. The referee trying to unstack, and he says it is. Whose ball? Yeah. Washington State. The Cougar players were right. They got it as Stu McEldery tried to get on it for California and could not. Huge play for Washington State. That's exactly what the Cougar defense needed to come up with a turnover. Not only did they get a turnover, but they picked up three yards in the process. So that time, Coach Walden might have had him diving in the locker room after fumble balls. He said, we had three of them on the ground, guys. We didn't get one. I want one. Second half, he's got one. I'm not sure in that pile who got the ball. There was a tremendous stack and a lot of scrambling. It wasn't California, though. Back with it. <laughs> and here come the Cougars back with the offense on the field once again. And Ed Blunt with a chance now to try to punch it into the end zone early in the second half. California leads 28 to 7. And the Cougars could be right back in this one. Kittrick Taylor wide left. It is a chase slot left. Fake pitch right. Back goes Blunt. Sets up. Running away from a would-be tackler. Throws downfield. It is deflected and incomplete at the five-yard line. 
And the fans were ooing and aahing as it appeared a Cougar lineman was holding on to a California defender on the rush, but there's no flag down. I'd say ho holding was a mild sense because that Cal player has to run over the sidelines and put on a new pair of jacket and jersey and pants and helmets because the kid just shredded him. He tore him right off his body. Yeah, there were things stringing out behind him that time as he tried to get at Ed Blunt, but Blunt was rolling away and Blunt he wasn't going to get him. Blunt, unfortunately, so far is 0 for 4 in passing. He's thrown four incompletions in a row. He's not had a good day. Now he sets him with split backs out of the backfield motion to the left. Now comes Michael James rolling left. Here's the throw downfield. James caught it at the 15, the 10. He's at the 5, diving to the 1-yard line. Michael James, who came in motion from the backfield that time, he's a wide receiver, but he got downfield, caught the ball at the 15 near the left sidelines, and struggled and fought his way down to the one, and the Cougars have first and goal at the one-yard line. Beautiful pass that time by Blunt. I open my mouth, he comes right back and puts it in my face. Beautiful job. Threw that ball on a dime, hit James. He blew right by the kid, almost faked out the safety, and got in for the score. First down goal, Cougars, 28-7 California. Ball at the one-yard line on the left hash. Two tight end offense, split backs with the ball blunt. Run left, fake, dives for the goal line and is stopped just short. He is inches short as Ed Blunt carried the ball down to about the six or eight inch line that time. That's about all there will be as they spot that ball. No more than six, maybe less. Ed Blunt on the carry. Kittrick Taylor comes out of the ball game as Sears brings in the play now. And the Cougars once again break out of that huddle. They line it up with split backs, two tight end offense once again. Sears wide to the right. Check off at the line from the six inch line. Signals called by Blunt. Handoff. Broussard, touchdown, Washington State. Steve Broussard pile driving through behind the blocks on the offensive left side of Dave Fakama and Ian Lindner and into the end zone to score. And the Cougars come right back into this ballgame with 11.01 to play in the third quarter. It's 28 to 13. Not bad, Washington State. Three plays, 23 yards, eight up 59 seconds on the clock. Get a couple more touchdowns like that. Guys, you better turn your radio back on here because we've got a football game. 11.01 to play. And here to try the extra point is Kevin Adams out of Cascade High and Everett. The snap, it's on the tee. The kick is up. It is good. And so the Cougars from 28 nothing behind have halved that margin. It is now California 28, Washington State 14. Ball on the 35-yard line. The Cougars will kick it off. Nico Brastoff ready to do the kicking. It is up on the tee. Two men are deep. Here's the run up. He'll kick it on the ground, sending it on through. They'll let it bounce all the way to the 12. Picked up back there by Jackson. Up over the 20, 25, 30. Penalty marker down. As Jackson got to the 32, the ball got knocked loose again. But the indications are that California probably has it. But there is a penalty flag down. 20-yard return on the kickoff that time by Billy Jackson, who scored a touchdown early in the ball game. And so the penalty is against California. And they'll walk it off. Let's see the spot. It Good looks biggie. like around the 31-yard line. Look like a clip. Umpire Walt Wolf has the ball to give to the referee. And there he goes back. So from the 31-yard line, he'll go back 10 to the 21. Must be holding. So a holding call, I would think. That's what it is. Against California on the return. They'll start at the 21 instead of the 31. Ball. Holy smokes. At halftime, University of Washington, 42. Brigham Young University, seven. Half Hello, time. Apple Cup. Half time. <laughs> oh, man. Tell Don James I want my jar of applesauce back. I think the spanking is in process. What a ball game. Unbelievable. Wide receivers both ways. Split backs behind Brian Bedford, a quarterback for the California Bears. Handoff is given to the fullback. Powers, and he is hit behind the line. Tackle made by Ivan Cook, and the Cougars are pumped up now. The defenders are beginning to jump up and down and high five as Ivan Cook came blowing across to make that stop, and they put the ball back at the 16-yard line, a five-yard loss. Washington State is doing exactly what Cal did to them in the first half. They're doing it in the second half. The defense slapping each other on the helmets. They're piling on, guys. They're knocking people on the ground. This is when turnovers happen. They get to get another one. This is a ball game. I'm telling you, the Cougars are coming back. California is minus eight yards offense this half. Cougars down 28-14, but charged. Here's motion by Delgado out to the right side. Back goes Bedford, swings it out to the right now. Ball caught by Hicks at the 10 up the side 
yard lines, 15 at the 20, and run out of bounds right at the original line of scrimmage at the 21-yard line. So Hicks caught the ball. Ford was there. James Hasty was there for Washington State, and Artie Holmes was there, and they ran him out back at the 21. So he picked up the five yards they had lost on the previous play. And for California now, that's 11 completions in 13 attempts in the football game. Third down and 10 from their own 21. And Bedford has eight pass completions in a row right now, so he has a hot hand also. Tight end to the right. Wide receivers both sides. Open side to the left. Signals called again. Bedford, long count, takes the ball on the draw to Hicks up the middle at the 20, 25, fights his way to the 26, and it'll be fourth and five for California. They come from the 26-yard line. Ready now. Here's the snap back. Here's the kick away. It is going to be angled away from Taylor to the right side. He waits for it at his own dump. He's going to let it roll. It goes by him at the 20, down to the 17-yard line, and it's going to roll dead at around the 16-yard line. So an excellent punt as they kicked away from Kittrick Taylor, and the Cougars will take over at their own 16-yard line on a 58-yard punt by Scott Tabor, the left footer. So Tabor, the young kicker, gives California a boost there, Paul. He makes the Cougars now play long field. I think that was good coaching. They told Tabor to kick the ball away from Kittrick. He's dangerous. He did that exactly. Nice play. Two men out to the left. Porter goes in motion right. Back goes Blunt over the middle. Caught by Layton. He's up to the 30 and knocked down hard, but with a first down. Chris Layton to the 30-yard line. Knocked down by Derek Taylor, the free safety. First down, Washington State at the 30 after a 14-yard gain. I tell you, the nice thing about that, Layton has been playing with sore ribs. People don't know this. He's playing a lot of pain. This is a gut check for him, and he's the leading receiver so far for Washington State University. Good for him. And again, the Cougars trailing by a 28-14 score. Start to move that football. They have it at the 30-yard line now. Here's the snap. Back goes Blunt. Sets up. Throws left side. Victor Wood scrambling after, but the ball thrown low and behind him. He could not come up with it. That's an incomplete forward pass. A little short one out to the left side to the flanker, but he just couldn't get a hold of it. And so it'll be a second down 10. Cougars make some changes at wide receivers. They will now have Rick Chase out to the left side. Stallworth slotted inside him to the left. The tight end over to the right. Here's the quick pitch now back to Porter running left around the corner 35 at the 40 head down scrambling and fighting at the 44 yard line Kerry Porter give him the 45 on that last little wriggle and he's at the 45 yard line so it's a 15 yard advance and a rushing first down for Washington State California 28 14 motion out to the left side by Broussard dropping back blunt rolling a little right throws up field ball caught by James at the 45 down to the 40 and at the 44 yard line Michael James is down and it'll be another first down for Washington Washington State is now Ed Blunt has the team running. I, I, I would have loved to have had a microphone not on, but in the locker room when Coach Walton got a hold of Ed, he said, son, let me tell you something. If you don't play well here in the second half, you're not going to be playing at all. And I think he's done an excellent job of coming back out and playing. James so far has two catches, 38 yards, doing a nice job, 19 yards a pop. 11-yard gain on that one. Signals call with one running back. Sears in motion left to right through the formation. Quick pitch right. Broussard trying for the corner. Got a block from Sears. He's down to the 35-yard line. Cotton got an excellent block on the wide man on the corner that time. And around the corner went Broussard. They'll take the ball to the 34-yard line. So Sears down to the 34 from the 39. And uh, a five-yard pickup. You could just sense Washington State, both offensively and defensively, have really picked the momentum up. Just like Cal, they sensed blood in the first half. They wanted to nail the coffin shut. Washington State said, You're, we're, we've got a football game, guys. Now split backs. Here's Taylor out of the backfield, set in motion left. Rolling to the left goes Blunt. Throws for the end zone. It is over the hands of Rick Chase at the goal line. Chase got deep on his man in the middle. That was Gary Hine, but Hine and Derek Taylor sort of crisscrossed in front of him. The ball was thrown high and was incomplete. It's much easier for us to make these kind of calls, but had he been able to, Ed Blunt, been able just to tuck that ball under his arm, run up the field, he had an easy 10 yards. He was going for the touchdown all the way. That ball was kind of a duck. It was a quacker season out there with Pheasant Hudden coming up. I think he was getting ready for it. Nearly intercepted. Yeah, but I think he saw Rick Chase open for just a minute down there, and it looked, it looked like, you know, big time. Time. Blunt four for 10 this quarter through the air, 49 yards. And the Cougars third and five at the 34 of California. Motion out of the backfield, Stallworth to the left. Rolling left is Blunt. Sets up, throws left side, over through Stallworth at the 25. So the pass is incomplete. The Cougars are now 11 for 21. 
in the football game so far 11 for 21 blunt over toward the sideline now getting instructions from the bench as we come to fourth and five. I don't know if they're going to send in the punting team. Yeah, here they, no, no, they're, they're going for it, guys. They're going for it. Fourth and five. 28-14, California. 7.25 to go in the third quarter, and the ball at the Cal 34-yard line. Well, they put a lot of pressure on Cal so far as when they run a trip formation and then sweep the ball out of the backfield. I think you're going to see some kind of play-action pass here. They go to two wide receivers, split backs. Out of the backfield comes James Left. Rolling left, blunt. It's open. He might not. Nope, he's going to pull up and throw. Downfield to the 20 to James. He caught it. Still ducking and Fighting down to the 18 for a first down. He just, Paul, pulled up in time behind the line of scrimmage and found Michael James. Great play by Ed Blunt. That was heads up thinking, cerebral play all the way. There was no way he was going to get the ball on a first down because the linebacker had a shot at him. He just kind of wriggled back. Uh-oh, got a penalty. Well, they've called something against Washington State. They have called something against the Cougars. Let's see what it is now. Is they're going to bring the ball back. They're taking it over to the far side at the 30 yard line. They're going to walk it back to about the, uh, they're going back to the uh, oh, line of scrimmage. It's geez. a five yard walk off. And let's see what they call. Time for a punt. Help. It's an ineligible receiver downfield. Ineligible downfield. So the Cougars are still at fourth down. So wipe out that pass play, although it was excellently executed. It is still fourth down, but now it is fourth and ten back at the 39-yard line. That was just a nice play, but you I, I'll tell you right now, the, the Cougar offense right now is fired up. They want to get the ball back. The defense is ready to go. This Here's Myers game. back to kick. Gets the ball, gets the kick away, angled for the corner. Fair catch called, ball inside oh. the five, goes out of bounds. It went out at about the two and a half yard line. And so the Bears leading 28 to 14, 703 to go third quarter out of that huddle. Running back split, lined up in the end zone behind Bedford, the quarterback. Cougars dig in at the line. Long count, handoff to the tailback, Hicks bumped in and slides out to the right, got to the 10, and down he goes. Artie Holmes rode him down at the 10 yard line. Hicks took the ball, drove straight up into the middle. It wasn't there, so he slid off to the right side and came out to the 10 on an excellent individual effort before Artie Holmes got him. Nice defensive line play by Washington State that time. They really pinned Hicks in. Unfortunately, the defensive end got hooked. He was able to slide outside. If there's no defensive backs there, it's a long run. Second down and three at the 10. Ball on the right hash. Signals called, split backs, receivers both ways, and the nose man moved for the Cougars. That is John Savage who got across and made contact. And so on the five-yard walk-off, presuming there was no uh, draw-off, and they will walk it off against the Cougars. It'll be a first down at the 15. California, Chuck Steele at center, Cam King, Blaze Smith, the guards. I think McEldery is playing at left tackle. Here's the handoff inside now to Hicks. He will carry the ball to the 20-yard line, slanting off the left side. The Cougars, four down linemen. Signals called again in an eye formation by Brian Bedford. Quarterback has the ball, short step back, then runs to the right side, finds a hole upfield to the 25, is hit by Reynolds, but he got to about the 28-yard line for a first down before Reynolds got him up off the ground. And Paul, once he got his feet off the ground, so he had no more traction, then it was an easy matter to get him down, but he already made the first down to the 28. That's a cardinal sin for quarterbacks. Never leave your feet, because if you do it, you get planted on your back. And I just wish he had a chance just to kind of bury that helmet in there and put Bedford back down, because he's feeling pretty good out there. He's having a good day. But this, that's one way to bring it down quickly with a body slam. Out to the left side for California goes Vince Delgado, 28-14. Cal leads, split backs, Powers and Hicks in the backfield behind Bedford. Also a man split off to the right side, short side. Here is the quarterback, Bedford, drops back, rush on, throws up field, it's incomplete. He threw behind Daryl Ingram, his tight end. Ingram turned and dove back to the ball, but couldn't get to it. As Bedford looked up into a two-man rush that time, and he had to hurry that throw. Oh, he had Rob Cleveland and, uh, and uh, Tony Savage all over him. He, Bedford tried to roll around to the right side that time. There were two Cougars standing there waiting for him. Cleveland was a primary man. He just threw that ball, saved his life. So once again, the Bears out of the huddle. Second down and 10 at their own 28-yard line. Wide men both ways, ball on the right hash mark, open side to the left. Now a lineman back pedals out of there. Dave Zawatson. Well, I'll tell you, he was ready to set up long before the ball was snapped. Signals called now, split backs once again. The line is down and set. They're back on the 23-yard line now. Long count by Bedford after the five-yard walk-off. Takes the ball, drops back a bit to the left. Throws long, it is incomplete. 
They passed to the ball of Wendell Peoples was pretty well blocked that time as he tried to go downfield. Maury Metcalf was back there along with James Hasty, and there just was no place for him to run through. Boy, James Hasty, and also it looked like Artie Holmes were over there, and, and uh, there was no way number 19, Artie Holmes, was had perfect coverage on him. He played it perfectly. Had that ball been thrown in, it might have been intercepted for the Cougars. Third down and 15 from the 23. The Cougars looking for the pass now. Split backs, wide men both ways. Bedford, the quarterback, steps in under to call the signals. He takes the ball, drops back, no fake. Moves out to the left, turns back to the right. Throws long downfield, and it is knocked away at the last moment. That was in the hands of James Devers. Artie Holmes was over there and got a hand up in between the receiver's hands and knocked it away. That was defensive play of the game right there because he had that catch all the way. Holmes came right up over the top. Pretty good coverage there. Man for man coverage that time. Trying to blitz underneath. Put some pressure. Just swatted the ball away and fell incomplete. That would have been a 25-yard game. Yeah, that was long ball. That was up at midfield or beyond. So punt time now and Tabor with Kittrick Taylor back. He needs four to tie, five to break the school record. Here's the rush on. He got it away. Taylor coming up to the ball at the 41. Has it. 45. Has the record. He's at the 50 and out of bounds. He crossed midfield. And Kittrick Taylor has now returned punts for more yards than any other player in the history of Washington State University. An 11-yard return. He breaks the record by seven. Couldn't happen to a nicer guy, and, and he had no protection. Washington State was going for the, the block punt all the way. They were sending 10 guys that time. He said, Kittrick, if you're going to break it, you're going to break it on your own. He sure did. Nice play. Well, he hasn't broken Mark Williams' record of uh, punt returns for touchdowns yet. That's still three. That's coming. And that's, no, that's possible, but he's got to reach that one yet. All right, Cougars have the ball at the 48-yard line of California. The snap is fumbled. Pile up. California got it. The exchange mishandled, and the California Bears came up with a football. The recovery for California made by Natu. Tua Tagaloa. That kills Washington State. The Cougars had great field position inside Cal at the 48-yard line. Now Cal turns it right around and has great field position inside the Cougar. 50-yard line on the 49. Washington State's defense is going to have to play awfully tough to keep them out of the end zone. So California with a lift with 4.42 to go in the third quarter and a 28-14 lead. Bears ball, first down 10, Cougar 49. Bedford step back, lineman pulls in front of me, tries to go left, he was caught by the jersey. That time as he tried to get around the corner, Ivan Cook had one hand on him, got a hold of the back of the jersey. He gained a couple of yards down to the 47 and then went down. So a two yard running gain for Bedford, second down and eight for California at the Washington State 47 yard line. The ball is out pretty much in the middle of the field in respect to the sidelines, just a bit more running room to the right than to the left. Wide left goes James Devers. Vince Delgado, who runs the reverse very well, is out to the right. Split backs behind Bedford in the backfield. Powers and Hicks. Here's the handoff to Hicks on the cross buck. Angles off to the right side. Not very much there. And Mark Hicks running a bit more as he did against Boston College. A bit more tentatively that time. Is piled up. Cook is there for Washington State. And Mark Ledbetter was also there for the Cougars. The young man from Puyallup and Brian Ford, the middle linebacker at the 46. That time, Washington State was blitzing. Uh, Artie Holmes came in from a strong safety position. Blitz right off, ran right into Hicks, knocked him down for a couple yard gain. California has only a net of 20 yards offense in this half. They're at the Cougar 46, leading 28-14. Hicks has a slot to the right now. They have two men right, one left, and Powers the lone running back. No fake, back goes Bedford. Sets up deep. Throws over the middle, got it to Hicks. Slipped a tackle on the 40, 35, 32 yard line. Mark Hicks finally pulled down there by Ron Collins and James Hasty. Collins from Kashmir, Hasty from Franklin High in Seattle at the 32-yard line. That's a 14-yard passing gain and a California passing first down, their seventh of this ball game. But more importantly, 14 yards down to the Cougar 32-yard line. So it'll be first down 10. 28 to 14 Cal leads. Cougars tighten up the middle of the defense now, angling the attack in on the center. Now Bedford, short step back, runs it to the left side at the 30, the 25, Nick tied by Artie Holmes and out of bounds as he got to the 25-yard line. Holmes ran him out. Artie Holmes, the 
free safety who backs up Kevin Thomason. He's six feet, 192, a sophomore from Rialto, California. Young man who, Paul, you'll appreciate this, is in the Big Brothers program. Good for him. I'm a big brother, and I'll tell you, that's an enjoyable program to be in. They put the ball on the 26-yard line, so a six-yard advance on that play. Second down and a short four to go. Cougars dig it in in the middle once again. Split backs. Handoff. Given off in the backfield. Now it is Hicks slamming off the right side. And or is that Jackson in running for Hicks now? But he ran it off the right side on the slant. And we'll check it as the unstack. It was Billy Jackson who carried the ball down inside the 25 to the 23-yard line of Washington State. Jack Power eye in the backfield this time. Two tight end offense. Third down, a short yard to go. Handoff to Jackson. Faked in. Turns out. Goes to the 20 for a first down. Excellent run by Jackson. He looked like one of those dragonflies on a pond that time. He just kind of skittered over the surface of the field, started into the middle, and then turned out to the left and went to the 20 for the first down. That play was designed to go inside, but Washington State did an excellent job of stacking up the cow line. He saw that bounced outside, finally was knocked down by number 41, James Haskin. Now it'll be Bedford with his team in an eye. Quick count. Goes with the ball. Throws left. It's incomplete. Trying to get the ball out to the left side to Mike Ford. Under through him, and then Ford, for his trouble, got knocked down by Gregory. Cal has not kicked very effectively, although they did get a field goal or two at Boston College, but extra points have been their nemesis. Now they're in the eye again. Wide receivers both ways, tight end to the right. Here's Bedford to that short step back. Pitches to Jackson, but we have flags down on the play. I think the lineman may have pulled too soon. The uh, pulling lineman, that would be Blaze Smith, the right guard, I think stepped back too soon. He's a 6'3", 265-pound junior from Atascadero, California, and he got out of there, I believe, just that half count too soon. He wanted to get out in front of his quarterback, so he started the step back. And that's what it is, illegal procedure. We're California in their dark blue jerseys, blue helmets, gold pants, moving left to right from north to south. Cougars in white and crimson and their gray helmets. Here's the quarterback, Bedford. Drops back, throws right side through the hands of Jackson, who then got an extra shove from Gregory and goes all the way to the grandstand before he stops running. The pass incomplete. And California is 12 now for 19 in this football game overall. You know, Paul, there has not been an interception in this game. There, there's been a couple of fumbles. The ball's been on the ground a lot, but no interceptions. Wyoming, a final 23 to 17 over Air Force. Coach Danny Erickson's first win, and it's a biggie. Well, we congratulate him. Fine young man and uh, some of the people we know on that staff. And we say congratulations to the Cowboys. Now the Cougars can just get this one turned all the way around. Wide men out to both sides. Tight end is to the right. Split back behind Bedford. He has the ball. No fake. Drops back to the right. Sets up. Going to run it up the middle now. Slip one tackle but not another as Ledbetter got him. Ledbetter got him. John Savage, the defensive right tackle, the freshman from San Francisco, chased him out, flushed him out of the pocket. And then it was Mark Ledbetter who ran him down back at the 30-yard line for a five-yard loss on that effort by Brian Bedford. Great defensive series by Washington State. They knocked him back 15 yards that time. A couple of penalties. Now it gets interesting. Leland Ricks will try a field goal held by Kevin Brown. They'll spot the ball at the 37-yard line, a 47-yard goal straight on. Here's the snap. It's on the tee. The kick is end over end. It is curling left. It is no good. He missed it. So Ricks missed it from 47 yards. Out of the backfield, Porter to the left. Back goes Blunt. Throws to Carey on the 30. Has it. Turns up field. 35. Ran over one man to the 38-yard line. Carey Porter on the carry. Gary Hine was there to knock him down. And also there on the play defensively, Dan Slavin, the freshman linebacker. They got him at the 38, but the Cougars pick up eight yards on the game, on the pass play. And for Washington State now, it is 12 for 22 through the air. And second down, two with 27 seconds to go. Motion out to the right side. No, they're just moving the tight end around to the right side. Split backs now. Here's motion back through the formation right to left by Cotton Sears. The hand off given inside to Broussard going to struggle to pick up maybe a yard. Broussard on the right side behind Utley and Dyko, the two big men over there. Dyko at 6'8", 265. Utley 6'7", 286. They're both sophomores. They're both still growing. Can you imagine how large they're going to be when they finish oh, growing? Frightening. And we come to the end of the third quarter of this football game with the ball at the 39-yard line and the Cougars coming to a third and one. End of the third quarter California 28, Washington State 14. Well, 
Cougars have third and a short yard from their own 39 yard line now trailing 28 to 14 as we start the fourth quarter blunt with split backs Broussard and Porter behind him wide men both ways quarterback sneak he's got the first down Ed Blunt just took that ball and wedged in behind his guards and center Ian Lindner Mike Utley the guards Alan Boatman the center and took the ball over the 40 yard line they'll put it down almost to the 42 for a three yard gain and a first down that's just a straight root hog the offensive line that time just got back there and fired it up and blew Cal right off the ball and the Cougars have exactly 100 yards of offense in this half as well as their eighth rushing first down they're down 28 14 Porter in motion to the left back goes blunt throws over the middle almost intercepted meant for Kittrick Taylor it went right through the arms of a defender that time about five yards off the line of scrimmage here come the Cougars now boatman from Kettle Falls over the ball at center Rod Olson a tight end now the freshman over to the left side signals called by blunt steps left fakes takes the ball and rolls right throws downfield ball tipped in the air Michael James the intended and and the ball knocked away by Sidney Johnson, the left corner, a senior for California from Cerritos. Got a hand on the ball, got a hold of the arm, ultimately the intended receiver, and knocked it away. He'll send Rick Chase wide to the left. Kittrick Taylor out to the right side. Taylor has broken his record for punt returning. Here's Chase in motion, left to right through. The spin and a penalty flag down. They whistled the play down. It never got off legally as Ed Blunt took the snap and did the counter option spin away from the line. And they never got it off legally, Paul. They're blowing whistles down there, although I couldn't hear the whistles. I did see the flag fly and everybody stopped. And against the Cougars, a five-yard walk-off, a dead ball procedure call. Looked like Ian Linder was a little bit excited that time. He lurched off the ball a little bit quick. That's going to cost him five. So back to the 37-yard line they go. They'll crank up the clock. 14-26 to go now and counting. Cougars down 28-14. to Broussard comes out. Porter has one of the wide receivers, Michael James, in the backfield split set. James in motion out to the right side. Now with the ball blunt, drops back. Now he's going to run it up in the middle, had it knocked away, and the Cougars got it. I think that was Kerry Porter coming back to retrieve the ball. And the Cougars gained some ground that time. Out to the 39-yard line as Kerry Porter would flare it out in the pattern, came back and got on it, but it's fourth down. Very heads-up play by Porter that time. Had he not recovered, again, Cowan had great field position and been inside the Cougar 40-yard line. Nice heads-up play by Kerry. Two men back to return the ball and Rob Myers to do the punting for Washington State. Here's the snap back from Tim Scholes. Here's the kick. Got under it pretty well. A wobbler going to the far side. Back there now to retrieve that ball for California and returning it upfield is Dwayne Jones running to his left at the 40 and got back to the 41 and a marker goes down. Maybe a face match. Yep. We have a marker down at the 41 yard line and it may be a face mask called against Washington State on the play on the return and the tackle by Ron Lee. Remember now they changed a couple of years ago the rule so that you can not grasp the helmet either by the face portion around the face. It's the same as the mask and I think that rather than the mask is what Ron Lee got a hold of. They will put the ball at the 46. The punt was 34. The return 13. Tack on five. And I think you're going to see Tim Rosenbach come in offensively because Ed hasn't done much this second half. So California with a 28-14 lead. Time to run something off the clock now if they play it well. Back to pass goes quarterback Bedford. Retreats. Throws a screen to the right. Incomplete for Hicks. Got it up a little high. Reynolds came in, kind of banged into Hicks as the ball went by. They stopped now and exchanged pleasantries. And I, I mean that seriously. They, I think there was just that moment they felt like kind of going at each other. And then they patted each other on the helmets and walked away and realized that it's just good, hard play. Real good, hard play. Ricky Reynolds made a nice job of closing that time. He had coverage. He saw the screen, came flying up there. You don't stop a 35 mile an hour sprint uh, in two steps. So he bounced it, though. I wouldn't know. I never ran 35 miles an hour. I never did either. High formation in the backfield behind Bedford. He has the snap. Boy, that guard got out in a hurry again. He goes left. He's up over the 50, scrambling down to the Cougar 46-yard line. It appeared from here that Blaze Smith got out awfully fast that time. In fact, he almost ran over his quarterback coming out, but there's no flag on the play. And uh, Bedford carried down to the Washington State 46. That's an eight-yard gain for Brian Bedford. And third down and two. The Cougars had him in the backfield. Bad tackling was able to slip out of their grasp, pick up good eight yards. Almost stumbled over his guard. 
Wide men both ways, split backs at the Cougar 46 yard line for California. It is Bedford. Cougar is edgy along the line. The handoff to Hicks slanting into the right side, got over the 45 to the 44. That could well be close enough to call for a measurement. That's how close it is to a first down. Brian Ford got a piece of him on the way through to knock him off balance and down. They say first down without a measurement. Ball at the 44 yard line. So a two yard gain and without measurement it is a California first down rushing their ninth on the ground and their 17th overall. 28 14 Bears lead. They come out of the huddle with Delgado out wide to the left and an eye formation. The line is down and set. Cougars, four defensive linemen down across the line of scrimmage. Here's the whistles now as the quarterback took the snap. And once again, we had something happen at that line of scrimmage. And now there is a little bit of pushing and shoving as Bobby O'Neill got pushed away that time. Bobby in the ballgame was a linebacker, and uh, Bedford pushed him away. And there's a good story. Bobby O'Neill, if you remember, had that shoulder or that arm surgery to take out that calcium deposit. And he's back in three weeks. And, and Mark Schmaha said that it's very interesting. He made a great recovery in terms of coming back. I'm happy to see him. Dean Terulio, who had knee surgery last week, is expected back in a week, so it's good to see the Cougars are healing quickly. They're young. They bounce back. You bet. The ball is on the 49-yard line of Washington State after the five-yard walk-off, and with Jim Walden and Joe Cap, both former Canadian pro players, they're probably looking out there saying, that's our 51. Because <laughs> you got 55 on the Canadian field. Split backs now. Here's Bedford. Fakes the handoff. Drops back on play action. Throws right side. Hicks, and he overthrew him. At the 34 yard line right at the line to gain in front of the California bench out on the right side and the ball to Hicks was overthrown split backs again at the 49 of the Cougars back goes Bedford with no fake and he gives a little shovel pass up ahead now to Johnson who lost the ball and the Cougars are going to get it they've got it I think no it's still rolling loose they were on it couldn't cover it now whose ball is it Washington State I think the Cougars got it but I'm not absolutely sure yes they did Washington State ball as Jackson lost it. And the Cougars recovered it. Kevin Thomason is wow. given credit for the recovery at the Washington State 38 yard line. Rod Olson is the tight end. Motion now by Chase through to the left. Here's the quick pitch left to Broussard trying to get to the corner. Can't he's out of bounds. He went out between the 34 35 yard line. They're going to put him down at the 34. So Broussard, a four-yard loss, back to the 34-yard line. And the Cougars now back to 98 yards of offense in the second half. Well, that's one way to eat up yards, but it's always nice to go in the other direction. But that time, Cal read that defensively nice. They came up there, really forced Broussard out of bounds. He did the good thing instead of taking the extra hits. Broussard out now, Kerry Porter in, and the Cougars go trips right. Three receivers to the right. Rosenball rolls right. Here's the throw, underthrown a little bit to Wood, who went diving back for the ball at the 40-yard line. Rosenball was running for his life that time, trying to get the pass away, as he was being pursued from the backside by one of the linebackers coming around, and almost was run down on the play. They'll put the ball back on the 34-yard line after the incomplete pass. And the Cougars will change a bunch of people. Wide receivers and running back Steve Broussard come in. Kerry Porter comes out. Cougars have only completed two of their last eight passes here in this half. They haven't been very sharp passing ones. Well, one thing, they haven't run a lot of time off the clock either. Now motion, Taylor through to the right. Three men on the right side. Here's the pitch to Broussard. Lots of blockers running right. 35, tried to cut it back, got to the 40. And that's about it, maybe the 41. California one too many men on the field. Here's the snap. They're not going to flag him, I don't think. Here's the kick away. A low spiral taken by Delgado at his own 25, upfield to the 30, hit and hammered back. The California extra player was Tua Tagaloa. He was trying to get off the field, and he had passed the head linesman Aaron Pointer before the ball was snapped, so he was all right. Eye formation. Bedford sets him. Long count. Sends his fullback powers in motion to the right. Pitch to Hicks running right. Looking for the block. Not going to get it. Ronnie Collins is there to haul him down. Collins, who was lined up on the line of scrimmage on the defensive left, came up and got him. Beautiful play. He just outplayed Powers that time, knocked him all the way into the backfield. It was a blitz. Collins read it, a jet blitz. He came flying up the field. Hicks tried to make an outside little move to get around him, and he lost 10 yards. Well, it's actually a seven-yard loss like back to the 22, but that's a long way back there. It's a great play, and I like that. Second down and 17. 
To the left, Wendell Peoples now, the wide side of the field. Ball on the right hash mark. I formation, California in the backfield with a two-touchdown lead in the fourth quarter. Here's the quarterback back again. Throws upfield. That is caught by Peoples at the 40 to the 45 and dragged down at the 45-yard line by Erwin Chappelle, who just held on and bulldogged him at the 45, maybe the 46-yard line. But Chappelle just held on until he hauled him down at the 46. Credit Bedford, that was play action all the way. He came down the line, looked like he was going to run the veer. Then he bellied back a couple of steps and fired the ball in a dime to Peoples. Good coverage by Chappelle. Just a great pass. He had no help. Well, that big guard, Blaze Smith, is always in his way when he comes out of there. He gets out and kind of comes back a little bit deep. Now Bedford sets him again, his tight end to the right. First down with a 28-14 lead. Chappelle playing on the right corner against Peoples. Here's the handoff, Hicks on a cross buck. A little scissors action going back to the right side and picked up only a yard or two. Brian Ford was there. Jim Krakowski was there for the Cougars to make the stop as they bring the ball out from the 46 to the 48-yard line. And that's a two-yard advance for the California Bears. Second down and eight. Clock running down to 9-11 to go. And I suppose that as important to the Bears right now almost as gaining ground is to keep that clock running. Bedford with one running back. Two receivers left, one to the right. Goes into the long count now as the clock ticks away. Takes the ball, drops back, going to throw. Over the middle. It is caught by Hicks at the 35 down to the 32-yard line. Kevin Thomason and Erwin Chappelle made the tackle, but it's a California first down at the Washington State. 32 Yard line, a 20-yard forward pass. That was just nice protection again. Play action pass. Bedford dropped back. He had two receivers to the left, one receiver to the right. He hit Hicks, who just ran a quick little post. Got in behind Chappelle for the completion. Hicks on the night on the day has six catches for 89 yards. He's been their offensive threat. So out they come at the 32-yard line now. I formation, 28-14 lead. California on the drive. Here's the quarterback. Bedford running left, has some room. 25, hit down low and right rolled over Thomason by Krakowski, but he got inside the 21 to the 20-yard line. A 12-yard gain and a first down rushing for California and Brian Bedford. And they're taking some offense right out of the Washington State University playbook. Play action pass, the veer, the option are coming right back and they're running very well so far. Jackson out, Billy Jackson. In comes Mark Hicks. We've not seen much of Darwin Greer, their other tailback, except in kick return situations the lone running back as Hicks lines up in the slot right. Back to pass Bedford. Throws right to Hicks. 15. Broke a tackle. He's at the 10-yard line before they got him down. The 10 passing first downs, California. They lead 28-14. First and goal at the Cougar 9. Here's the handoff in the backfield. Jackson. And he just takes it right in behind the block of his fullback powers. And down to around the 5 or 6-yard line he goes before the Cougars get him stacked up. A California score here makes them tough to catch. High formation. Tight end to the left. Signals called by Bedford. Cougars dig in almost a goal line defense. Bedford steps back. Going to run right for the corner. And he's pushed out at the one yard line. Reynolds got him and pushed him out. Ricky could not get a hold of him. Couldn't get him down. But he got enough push on him to give him momentum to go out of bounds at the one yard line. They're going to put it down on the two actually. And so it's third down and goal at the two yard line. Watch bootleg play action here. Full house power eye with two tight ends. Now with the ball, Bedford. Handoff. Hicks diving. Touchdown. It went over the top, but there's a flag down. There is a marker down. So let's hold everything. There could be a holding call. Let's wait and see. There's a California. Holding California. And a California player is shaken up. Two men short side right, one wide side left, and one running back. The line is set. Signals called. Bedford straight back on the drop. No fake. Steps up. Throws right side. It's incomplete. Bedford Noble, the tight end. Reynolds was over there. He was coming hard. And the ball was thrown a bit behind and a little high. For so it'll be a 29-yard field goal out of the hold of Kevin Brown, the backup quarterback. 29-yard goal from an angle to the right. The lines are set. 6.41 to go. Snap back is on the tee. The kick. Line drive up is good. He made it. A 29-yard field goal by Leland Ricks. And that came with 6.37 to go here in the in the ball game with a score now California 31 and Washington State 14.
Jalen Ricks ready to kick off. California didn't get what they wanted out of that last drive, but they got something, and that's important to them. They got the three, Paul, on the field goal. Ten play, 59-yard drives, and culminating in a 39-yard field goal at eight of four minutes and two seconds. The kick goes into the end zone to James Hasty, who will go to his knee and take the touchback. A lot of banging and bouncing going on out on the field. And they'll bring the ball out to the 20-yard line. So the Cougars now is still 6.37 to go. And down 31 to 14. Three men out to the left. Now Rick Chase threw in motion to the right. Here's the turn. Hand off Porter. Up the middle he comes to about the 23-yard line. So Kerry Porter on the carry brought it out to the 23. And the tackle for the California Golden Bears made by Tua Tagaloa. Ed Tingstad is now the running back. He'll go in motion left. Here's the snap. Back goes Rosenball. Flag down. They're going to whistle the play down. As somebody got off too soon, they're going to whistle that one dead. It may have been Chris Dyko that time, the uh, right tackle for the Cougars, who started to get into his pass block stance a little too early. And the walk-off will be against Washington State. Tingstad in motion out to the left side. With a snap. Now Rosenball with the ball. Going to run it up the middle. Got a block at the line of scrimmage. Ducks outside to the left. Trying to get to the sidelines. Goes out at the 24. And that stops the clock. Alan Boatman gave him a fine block just across the line of scrimmage, too. So 5.42 to go. Cougars third down. And six yards to go. Out to the right in motion. Taylor rolling right. Rosenbaugh. Pursuit from the back. They hit him as he throws. and is intercepted. Picked off by Tua Tagaloa. At the 25, running back into the middle of the field, retreated and went down at the 26-yard line. Tua Tagaloa made the interception as Rosenball was hit from behind as he tried to release that ball. And Joel Dixon was the man who hit him. Well, Hickson did a great job. He came in from the backside, the blind side. Tim didn't even see him. He went to throw. He had a guy open down the sidelines, got crushed. Interception. Big Cal turnover. Five and a half minutes to go. Cal ball at the Cougar 26-yard line. High formation. New quarterback Kevin Brown in running left. Brian Ford got him as he crossed the line down to the 23-yard line. The new quarterback for California is Kevin Brown. His dad played on the UCLA National Championship team in 1954 and was an All-American guard in 1955 for the Bruins. Pretty good athletic prowess in that family, I'd say. Yeah. He took it down to the 22-yard line for a four-yard advance on that play. More importantly, ran the clock down. Now it's inside five minutes. Lone running back behind a quarterback. Delgado goes in motion to the right through the formation. Brown to the ball, sprints back to the right, overrun, and bulldog down by Savage. Big John Savage got him. Studying accounting and business law, and they just explained the law of rolling back. You better get a block. California ball back to pass Brown throws deep intercepted Washington State Thomason back on the eight yard line running right at the 10 the 15 the 20 and out of bounds at the 25 yard line the Cougars next week travel to Arizona State for a night game motion out of the backfield Tingstad to the right with the ball Rosenbaugh to Tingstad he caught it and knocked out of bounds at the 29 yard line nine yard line ball on the right hash mark two men go wide to the left split running backs behind the quarterback and Tim Rosenbaugh has had a lot of playing time today turns penalty markers fly Rosie going to run the ball up the middle at the 35 the 40 and spins to the 41 but we have a flag down back near the line of scrimmage so let's see what our call is here as the Maybe officials offside. gather offside on California and I'm sure the Cougars will decline that take the ball at the 41 yard line so for Washington Washington State, it will be a 12-yard running gain and a first down. Nice run by Tim. Just a regular veer option down to the short side of the field. He came right down, cut back inside, left a couple of guys grabbing for air. And the nice thing about that is he put the ball in. He's about to get hit. He held onto that ball for the allow to make sure there was no fumble. Well, a ball on the 41 now. 3.52 to go. Clock running again. White side right on the center's nose. Boatman out of the backfield goes Ed Tingstad to the left in motion. Back goes Rosenbaugh. Sets up. Now going to try and run it out of there with Pringle blocking. And got over the 40 again. Just about back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10. No gain on the play. Split backs. Two receivers to the left. Tight end Olsen to the right. Motion back to the formation and through by Victor Wood left to right. Here's the snap. Counter option turn. Rosenbaugh running it and fights his way to the 44 before he is ridden down. Tackle made. Hardy Nickerson 
Jackson and Derek Taylor, linebacker and safety at the 44-yard split backs. Rosenbaugh, the quarterback. Long count. There was movement, but apparently nobody got off. Rosenbaugh back, throws right side, a little behind Kittrick Taylor down at the 35-yard line. Kittrick in double coverage that time. Down there with him, Sidney Johnson for one. And the ball was thrown a little low, and Taylor couldn't get back to it. So here's Rosenbaugh with his team to the line, fourth down and seven. Takes the snap, back he goes, throws left side, and is caught by Michael James, first down. James down to the 44-yard line of California and got out of bounds on the play. 12-yard gain to Michael James. For now the call again, trips right, three receivers to the right side. Back to pass again goes Rosenbaugh, sets up, throws deep, man open, Sears, 25. He's got it down to the 21-yard line. Cotton Sears at the 21-yard line, and the Cougars pick up 23 more on another forward pass thrown by Rosenbaugh, and they're immediately out of that huddle and ready to go once again. Cougars want to go right at it. The sticks are not set. We're in hold right now. The clock stopped until they get the chains moved. First down at the 21-yard line. It is 20, 31 to 14. Here's Rosenbaugh back, rolls a bit right, throws for the end zone, tipped in the air and incomplete. He had a man deep that time, Cotton Sears, right under the goal post at the end line, but the ball was tipped in the air and went over his head and out of play. Wide men both ways, split backs. James motion out to the left, back goes Rosenbaugh, sets up, over the middle, it goes incomplete. Flag. Penalty marker, interference. You bet. Interference call against California as the intended receiver was ridden down by one of the linebackers that time and not given a chance to catch the ball. Rosenbaugh sets him, two receivers to the left, no back. Back as Tingstad goes out in motion right. Back goes the quarterback. He's overrun, trying to throw the ball. It got away, but they've whistled it dead at the 15-yard line. Hardy Nickerson recovered it way back up the field, but the official already had blown it dead at the 15. Second down for the Cougars, a minute 49 to go at the 15-yard line of California. 31-14, the Bears lead by 17. Tim Rosenbaugh, split backs, back pedals to set up. Throws for the corner of the end zone. Taylor, touchdown, Washington State. I'm sure that is Kittrick Taylor way across the field who took that ball away from Gary Hine, the defender on that side. So Rosenbaugh throws to Kittrick Taylor. And that one comes with one minute, 37 seconds remaining in the ball game. And the Cougars now, as we have an injured Cougar player, Taylor stayed down. Kittrick Taylor is down. Mark Smallhaw has gone racing across the field to take a look at him. As Kittrick, who caught the touchdown pass of 15 yards from Tim Rosenbaugh, as the Cougars get another score up on the board here. But for Washington State, it may be too little and too late. 31 to 20 now. Rosenball will hold for Kevin Adams. who will kick the ball to try to add the extra point and make it 31-21. Here's the snap on the tee. The kick is up. It is good. And so with the extra point and a minute 37 seconds remaining to go in the ball game, it is California 31, Washington State 20. Cougars will kick the ball now with Nico Brastoff ready to kick. And only Jackson back. They've got nine men up front looking for the possible onside kick now. And Jackson back on the 10-yard line. Cougars start to loop players off to the left. They've got one huddled group of, of five over to the left side. Five others with the kicker over to the right. Here's the kick. Goes for the onside. The big bounce in the air. Scramble for the ball. And I think the Cougars got it, and they did. Washington State recovered the kickoff. The onside kickoff. And the Cougars got it. Washington State has made the recovery of the kickoff. May have been Mitch Dillard who got the ball. What? Our check out of Washington State. Cougars down by 10. Back goes Rosenbaugh. Stumbled. He was hit. Got away. He's still running at the 45, the 50. Hammered and out of bounds at the 49-yard line. Ball at the left hash mark. Three receivers out to the right side. Porter also set to the right. Back goes Rosenbaugh. Throws. Ball may have been deflected a little bit and underthrown. Meant for Rick Chase. It would have been in double coverage, and I'm not sure he'd have gained anything if he'd caught the ball. And I think, Paul, it may have been deflected a bit. At the we could just call him Natu. That's his first name. Good. That's all right with you. I can't pronounce the last one. All right. Third and six Cougars at their own 49. Somebody jumped on the defensive right side. Rolling right goes Rosenbaugh. Free one of the flag down. Throws ahead now. And the ball caught down at the 41-yard line. Michael James.
there to make the catch for Washington State. And I would think the Cougars likely will take the result of the play on that one as they get the first down with an offside also pending. But the pass play down to the 41 yard line is good for 10 and it will be good for a Cougar first down their 10th uh, check at their 11th uh, through the air. It was good to see Michael James coming back. He's been hurt the first couple of games. He's had four catches today for 60 yards and he has had an excellent ball game here in the second half. Been on some big catches. Cougars take the play in a first down. They trail 31 21 112 to go. Three men to the left, motion by Porter to the right. Back goes Rosenbaugh, sets up, runs up in the middle, ducks out to the left, ran by the umpire, now slides down as he got down to about the 38-yard line. And the Cougars are going to hurry to the line of scrimmage. They still have two timeouts left, but they haven't called one. They're going to hurry. Rod Olson, the tight end to the left. Stallworth comes in. Here's Chase sprinting to try and get off the field before the snap. He makes it. Here's the snap. Back to pass goes Rosenbaugh. Throws over the middle. It's tipped and incomplete meant for Stallworth. Defender got a hand on the ball. That was tipped away by linebacker Rob Bimson. And Derek Taylor was also there. And they'll bring that one back after the incomplete pass. They would have brought it back anyway because there's an offsides against Washington State when the interior lineman kind of did one of those bounce bubbles and move shots and uh, they flagged him. I think if I were California, I might decline this one, let the down advance and just take a play away from the Cougars who didn't gain any ground on it. But obviously California doesn't agree with me. They're going to take the ball back uh, to the 43 and the Cougars are going to get that play back. All right, we're ready to resume. Cougars balls and the pitch faked by uh, Rosenball rolling right, got in trouble, still struggling, got back to the 44 yard line and down he goes. 30 seconds to go as Whiteside and Hardy Nickerson made Jet Whiteside the nose guard and Nickerson threw him for the loss on the play. Back out to the 44 yard line. That's a one yard setback. Ready again. Cougars in a hurry to get that snap off. Back goes Rosenbaugh. Throw right side for Porter down low and incomplete as Porter collided with the cornerback Sidney Johnson and a pass fell incomplete. By the way, there are showings of the highlights of Cougar games at Cougar clubs around the state at various times and days and places. So I'll check with the Cougar club in your area to find out about those. Just miss the first half and come on and see the second half. That's where all the That's right. fun activities took place. Well, anyway, skip the game. first quarter. Things got kind of interesting along about the early part of the second quarter, as I recall. When the Cougars started that drive and turned the ball game around, but they were not able to catch up. 31-21 to score now, and only 10 seconds remaining. In to call the play goes Tim Rosenbaugh. Back pedals now from a spread. Sets up, throws the long ball. Left side, it is in the air. Tip knocked down incomplete. Three seconds remaining as that ball was batted away and fell incomplete. The deflection by Alan Dixon, a defensive back. The Cougars just sent three guys down the field hoping for a prayer. Rosenbaugh bought as much time as he could. He just threw the ball down there. A good crowd of Cal defensive backs and linebackers and everybody else that were there were able to finally come in and knock it down. They were just going for the end zone. There's no way that they were able to get it as Cal knocked it down. That's it. All right, California with the ball. Brown at quarterback. Three seconds to go. He goes down to one knee. They gather to protect him. And the clock will tick it off, and the game is over. So here at Berkeley this afternoon, the California Golden Bears have held on to defeat the Washington State University Cougars in a Pac-10 football game. The final score was California 31, Washington State 21. The Bears win it over the Cougars after taking a 28 to nothing lead at the outset of the ball game and in the early second quarter. The Cougars storm back, but they couldn't quite catch up. California 31, Washington State 21, the final score.